Hi everyone! It's been a pretty long time since I recorded a voiceover for this channel, so I'm a bit nervous on how this will come out, but anyway. As most of you know, or if you didn't, hello, I'm Cece and I'm currently working on a comic series called The House of Monsters, which I've posted some things about in this channel already, like memes, some stuff about my characters, some snippets of things I'm working on, some preview videos on what the comic is about, and while the comic isn't ready yet, I'm currently working on the first volume and the website that's going to be hosting the comic, but I wanted to record this video to show a bit of my character design process using the main protagonist of the comic, Shiloh. I've altered Shiloh's design a lot throughout the different versions of the comic, which you can probably find on my Tumblr if you scroll hard enough, the link is on my profile, but this is the final design that I inevitably altered a little bit when I started the comic by making it a little bit simpler. But you can see here that for the initial concept, I gathered a couple of expression references from panels I've already done uh, for the comic, and I started to lay down some of his characteristics, if he has sharper angles, how his features are drawn, etc. I tried to explore a lot of his expressions, body language, what kind of vibe and the atmosphere he exudes as a character, and for him, I feel that his looks can be quite deceiving. I've heard people talk about how he looks like your generic epi-go-lucky aesthetic, but actually wait, I'm depressed, which is the funniest misconception you can make about him, because I know I love the smiley face, bright yellow aesthetic, my point was not to make it a contrast to a depressed or gloomy character, but actually someone who struggles a lot with anger, impulsivity, impulsivity? Yeah, impulsivity, and masking instead. Here things are a bit clutter and messy, but I didn't bother with the layout as much as I did with trying to lay down everything I wanted for this particular page, which I think if you're going to make a project that is long term, you need to be able to naturally draw draw your character without going too far off of what they're supposed to represent. Uh, I say it's more about who they are as a person than simply be consistent with their design, because design and consistency alone don't make a character. Who is your character supposed to be? What kind of vibe they give off? Who are they as a person? What's their moral alignment? What kind of things are they willing to do to achieve their goals? What's their personality like? You can tell a lot about who a character is by their body language or outfit alone, but expressions and how the character portrays themselves, it's what's going to let everyone know who they are. You can have a very good character design, but if they have no distinct features than the other characters, they're going to blend in with the crowd and fall into forgetfulness. Now granted, I'm not a professional, I don't have a formal art degree, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. This isn't a tutorial or me saying I know better than anyone, this is just my personal experience and my personal preference. I'm sure I commit a lot of mistakes and that's fine, this isn't the point of the video. The point is, this is how I explore character design, and if you find anything I did or said here useful, good! So, for this sheet, I didn't think too much about finalized drawings, I mostly wanted to sketch out as much as I could and write down some important footnotes about his design, like how his eyes are half circular, how his shapes are mostly triangular, and especially the range of his expressions. Of course, one single character sheet is probably not going to be enough to get a complete feel of your character, but it's a start, especially if it's your protagonist. One thing that frustrates me is how often protagonists are fit into the box of they represent the reader's moral compass. <laughs> because I don't think that works as much as people think. I like when protagonists are allowed to exist in their own world without bothering to think, but what would the reader think? What if they hate this character? It's the protagonist, they need to be likable. When what makes a likable character isn't how good they are on a moral high ground, but how relatable they can be and how three-dimensional they seem to be. Don't write a story strictly for your readers. Write it for you, first and foremost. What story do you want to tell? And does your character portray that? It's tough to get everything absolutely right in your first few tries. 
I've worked on a lot of other comics and projects before this one finally took flight, and I've had a lot of failures. A lot of good ideas went down the drain because I didn't know what to do with them, or how to deal with the characters or the setting they were in. And that's fine. Trial and error is the root of all things, and it's very rare that someone's first story or first project will become a masterpiece. Don't be scared to showcase what you're passionate about. I'm sure my comic won't be well received by some people, and I've heard plenty of things about Shiloh in general on the internet that have bothered me a lot before. But at the end of the day, I'm learning with this comic to do things I care about, and that people sometimes care about the things I make too. If you like my art and want to support my project, please consider checking out my coffee and my artistry link on my profile. Any donation or commission helps me fund my passions. This full artwork is published on my Tumblr if you're interested, and chapter 1 is also up on both my coffee and Tumblr, so consider checking it out. I'm also working on a one-shot prequel comic featuring one of the other main characters of the story that will be up in a PDF bundle on my coffee as soon as I finish it. If you don't want to miss out, consider liking, subscribing, and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time, Crablings! Bye-bye!